Hi guys, I'm here with you today to tell you a little bit more about a book named Junk by Melvin Burgess, also known as Smack. Basically, it will be spoiler-free review. There will be one kind of a spoiler about the ending. I will not say specifically what happens in the ending, but I will mention if the ending is good or bad for the characters. So yeah, that is kind of my spoiler. Before we get started, I just want to say sorry if I pronounce some words wrong. I will try to say everything clearly and I will do my best. I don't really know where to start. I read this book a few weeks ago and well, I was kind of impressed. Kind of. But let's start from the beginning. I had found this book quite a while ago in my brother's bedroom at our countryside, in the attic. I'm sneaky. I had read tiny bits of this book, but I don't really remember them. And when I read this book, I got I got that the parts that I do remember was in the middle of the book. So I believe that when I was younger, I just kind of opened this book in the middle, read one chapter, and then yeah, I was like, eh, nah. So yeah. <laughs> this summer, I decided that I could take it home with me. And I did. And recently I decided that I should give it another try, a serious one. So I did, I read it and I ended up having a really weird mixture of feelings. First of all, I have to get this one thing out of my chest, like right now. I was so, so annoyed by characters in this book. Seriously. First time in my life I was so, so annoyed by the characters and I still kept reading and I ended up actually liking it. Still confused by the logic of that? I mean, I do understand that there will always, well at least most of the time, be a character in a book that, you, that gets on your nerves. But in this book it wasn't just one or two characters, it was most of them. Not to even say that all of them. But speaking of characters and people, it's kind of actually sad to know that there's such a big group of society out there in the real world, you know. <laughs> but that is actually this stupid, like generally, just this stupid. I must admit though that everything in this book was quite realistic, which is a really nice change from other realistic books who ends up sounding more like somebody's dream, not reality. Oh, and speaking of reality, the ending? I mean, really? I mean, nice, nice, but maybe with me being sadistic bitch and all, I was kind of hoping for a bit worse ending for the main characters. I mean, really? This book basically tells you that if you want to do hard drugs, go ahead and do them. You will gain new experience and at the end everything is going to be just fine. If you want overdose first. So yeah, the not so bad ending kind of made me feel like the whole point of this <laughs> book was worthless. But only if one of the reasons for writing this book was to stop stupid kids from using hard drugs. If not, then it was really good. <laughs> Overall, I was really impressed how Melvin Burgess made me get annoyed by so many characters and yet not the book itself. And he did a really great job on showing me through this book how much these characters have grown and changed over these years. So it was really nice. And even though from the beginning of this book I was really annoyed by the characters and I thought that they were really childish, I still had the feeling that at the end of the book I was grown with them, I had matured with them, and that was a really nice feeling. I gave this book 5 stars because this book got me thinking and it's rare. And it got me really passionate about all of these characters as well as events. And while it may not be the best book that I read, I seriously do believe that this book deserved 5 stars from me. And I do suggest this book, but I don't guarantee that you will actually like it. But for me, it was one of those books where at the end I really couldn't decide if I want to give it a 1 star or 5 stars. I did end up giving it 5 stars, but it was really... Like I said, I had a really big mixture of feelings and it was so good and so weird and so... I don't know, it was unique and it was really weird and nice experience at the same time, so I do suggest it. It was my first book in this kind of subject and it's not really the book that got me hooked on this subject, I had some interest before it, but I would really like if somebody had any suggestions for me in this genre, in this subject and it would be really nice of you. I'm not saying that I'm going to read much uh, junkie related or drug related books at the moment, but I would be really happy to read some this kind of books in the future. So this is it for my kind of really mini book review. I like the book, so that's a good thing. 
Like I said, if you have any book suggestions, please comment down below. And I know this was a really short review and wasn't really specific, but I'm, I'm going to grow into it and I'm going to try my best to do better next time. I don't know. Actually, I don't know. Tell me if you like the reviews being short and not specific like this, so you could watch it before you read the book, or you would actually want me to talk more specific about the book, about the characters, about the events in this book. So I did film another video yesterday. In that video, I kind of introduced myself and the point of this channel but yeah this is going to be my first uploaded video ever <laughs> so please be kind and this is the part where my camera decides that it doesn't want to record anymore so yeah I'm sorry about that but all I have to say is that I'm really glad that you are watching this I'm really really thankful and I really hope to see you soon